Hi, my name is Robert Ray with MP3 Car. I'm here with Robert from Optimotive, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the car that they've entered into the XPRIZE Automotive Challenge. So Optimotive, I guess, started as a robotics company. You guys are a number one battle bot. Yep. And you're transferring a lot of that technology, hopefully, into something that's going to generate some returns for you in this right. electric vehicle. And have a, have a car company come out of it. So this is a pure electric vehicle. Pure electric. Um, what plug -in. what miles per gallon equivalent would you expect to get out of this car? The minimum we're aiming for is 100 miles per gallon gas equivalent. What are you guys getting right now in your tests? Actually better than that. Really? Well, that's but, good news. Yeah, that means it's time to go take a break, right? No, no, but we haven't stressed it, right? Uh, there okay. hasn't been a lot of uphill or... or, or well, if you've got improvements, maybe we can make it a little longer and a little higher, so next time we uh, go to do next an interview. Time, yeah. Next time. Um, so I noticed that you don't have any electrical instruments up here in the dash cluster. Is that not is, yet? So there will be something there here. Will be something. Have you decided yeah. what's going to go up in here? Yep. Uh, our team is divided into two chunks. One's up in Ottawa, Canada. The other's down in San Jose. So the the chassis and the mechanical engineering and the gross assembly was done up in Canada. A couple of weeks ago, I, dr I drove the car down, towed it down and brought it down to San Jose where we're doing the final electrical integration. Okay. Right, Silicon Valley. Then we so get screens and everything. We're gonna have screens, we're gonna have... Uh, so we're, we're gonna have to, software to run the screens or is lots it... Lots of software using the same technology that's like in a Wii controller or an iPhone, so we're gonna know forward pitch, side pitch, okay. lateral acceleration. So you'll have everything. some accelerometers in there. Yes. So for those of you that have never seen BattleBots, they are just a, a big war inside of this arena where these robots fight each other. So what have you learned out of the robot fighting arena? I mean, certainly it's a very brutal environment. What have you learned out of that environment that you can put in cars? How to make electronics that'll take a beating and still keep on ticking. Because we've had our, our robots kick 20 feet in the air and come crashing down and they still work. So. And the, as brutal as a car environment is, it's not going to be that brutal. So, right. So we, we think we can bring that expertise. Well, that's great. Well, thanks a lot for taking the time to give Thank us a you. demo.